In this video, I'm going to discuss Juan Sanchez Cartan, uh, his use of media handling and techniques, and then style and then colour in his 1602 painting, Still Life with Quince, Cabbage, Melon and Cucumber. And I'm going to begin with media handling and techniques. And the first thing to say is that he used oil paint on canvas to make this. Catan used the very traditional methods um, with oil paint and I've got another picture you can see here to show you the stages in that process. What Catan would do would begin with a tonal underpainting, um, would begin with like a brown or you know a, a, not just a white canvas but you know with some kind of ground on it so here we've got like an umber ground on the canvas and a tonal painting and then whites are added to that tonal painting to enhance the, the light. And then uh, he would work over that. So that's a colourless painting so far, but then he would work over that with glazes of really thin colour. So oil paint, obviously, is oily, unlike watercolour, which is watery. But in the same way you use watercolour, he would use these thin layers of very oily paint uh, on top of the underpainting to then bring layers of colour. And that would give you these very realistic and very vibrant colours that you can see in his painting. Another thing we can say is that his brushwork is extremely careful and he must have used a very small brush to get some of those very precise details. If we look at the centre of the melon or even in the skin of the melon or the skin of the cucumber, you can see tiny, tiny little details. So very careful brushwork and a very small brush in order to do that. Um, another thing we can say about his technique is that the four pieces of subject matter that we can see here were probably never really present in the, at the same time in the same place. Um, what Catan is more likely to have done is worked from individual sketches. So he'll have individually done sketches and studies of the quince and painted that, and individual sketches and studies of the cabbage and then painted that onto the thing. Um, so he's not just working from you know the, the, the four fruit and vegetables as you see them, he's working, he's put this together from a bunch of individual studies that he has made. The first thing, uh, so sorry, we're going to talk about style now um, in this painting, um, in Still Life with Quince, Cabbage, Melon and Cucumber from 1602. And the first thing to say about Cotan's style is that it is realistic. This is style is called realism. Um, Cotan is not interested in stylizing or changing his subject matter in any way. He wants to paint it as precisely and as exactly um, as he can. And in fact, Cotan wants us to even believe that it's not a painting, that it is, we're looking at an actual window with some fruit sitting in it. And he's used a couple of tricks to, to make us think that, for example, making the frame of the window match with the frame of the painting, match with the size of the canvas. And also having the cucumber sitting slightly over the edge and the melon to an extent as well, the slice of melon, and their shadows kind of fall over the edge. That's a technique called trompe l'oeil, which is French for trick of the eye, and I will give you the spelling of that in class. Um, and trompe l'oeil means when you do a painting that is meant to fool people into thinking it's actually a real thing or you could actually reach in and touch it, and actually it's not, it's a painting. And that was popular at that time in that early 17th century painting. Another thing to say about his style is that the, the name of the of the, the art style or the art movement that he was associated with is called Baroque. So this is an example of Baroque realism. And the features of Baroque realism we can see here are the very high tonal contrast, to, tonal contrast or what we also call chiaroscuro, another term I will give you spelling for in class. But chiaroscuro just means exactly that. The it's a high tonal contrast, very dark darks, very light lights, not so many mid-tones. Um, uh, Baroque painting is also a very, is generally a very realistic painting style. Um, and it's very dramatic as well. And this is clearly a very dramatic painting, although it's kind of low-key, restrained subject, everyday subject matter. Um, it, he's done it in a dramatic way. Um, Another thing we could say about uh, a, st 
a kind of stylistic point for uh, um, Catan is that this this is clearly a still life, but this is also from a long time ago, early 17th century, before still lifes were a thing. And what this type of still life is called is a body gone. That's a Spanish word. I'll give you that spelling in class as well. A body gone is a simple arrangement of simple foodstuffs. Um, Catan was a, uh, you know, was was one of the people that kind of started painting in that th those kind of things. Um, I'm not sure if that fits so smoothly into the style bracket, but uh, you could use that to comment on the subject matter as well. Um, but because he was he was one of the first people to do this, I thought it was worth mentioning here. And the last thing I'm going to discuss here is Catan's use of colour. And the first thing we can say about his use of colour is that it is very, very representational, naturalistic. These are very natural colours. His subject matter is completely natural. Um, so these look mostly shades of green and then some of these kind of more salmony, uh, pinky orange shades inside the, the melon, but very naturalistic colours that are meant to fill us into thinking that we are looking at real uh, fruit and vegetables sitting there. Another thing we can say about this range of colour is that it all comes from a, quite a limited section of the colour wheel. So it goes from the end of your kind of orangey section here through yellows to green kind of thing. So these colours are fairly harmonious. Uh, and this harmony, there's no real contrast in here. So this harmony, um, I think, brings a kind of calmness. This is meant to be quite a meditative, not an exciting dramatic, well, not an exciting dynamic painting, but I do think it gives us a calmness. Um, it's a kind of solemn painting, and I think the the colours being in harmony help bring that solemnity. Another thing that very clearly brings a solemnity is the massive use of black in the background. But another thing that that use of black does for the colour is it makes the foreground colours more vibrant against the black. Um, so that is three things that you can say about colour. I've said three things about each of these uh, aspects of the painting, the media handling, the style and colour. Remember, you just have to make notes about two of them, but if you wish to make notes about all three, then that's a good idea as well. Um, good luck with that, and I will give you the spelling of, of those terms in class.